Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. You're being tracked. Secret agents are spying on you heavy and watching your every move. You know that song, Private Eye? They're watching you. Monitoring your every move. Can't keep their eyes off of you. And they're watching you because they need to figure you out. They need to try to learn more about you. They need to know everything about you. And they need to try to learn more about you to appear that they know more than you know about yourself. They gather information and intel on people like you so that way they can use it against you, try to gaslight you, manipulate your mind, and try to act like they know every single thing you do. That's why they talk around you, about you, but not directly to you. They'll watch you to the point to where they're able to have a full-blown conversation about you to someone else, but in earshot. Also, they could try to get through to you send chills up your spine, try to make you feel uncomfortable as if you don't have a normal life. But it's okay because with all that watching and with all that spying, it's just making you more on point. It's making you more aware of what's actually going on and your intuition is growing because of it. They can't stop you from reading them. And when you're able to read them and see through them and recognize them for who they are, they're going to try to act like they know who you are. Now, they do to a certain extent. They're aware that you're someone different. They're aware that you're on a different level of existence. But the thing is, they have to continue to watch you because they really don't know about you like that. They have to learn about you. And not only do they have to learn about you, they have to learn from you. They're learning from you guys. So when you're out and about, they're studying, watching, monitoring, trying to figure out your process, trying to learn what it is about you that makes you you. But it's an inside job. It's an inside job. It's nothing that they can do to try to figure out what makes you, you. You're just yourself. They can spy and watch all they want. And they do it to a point to where you want to lash out on them. But we know better than that. We, we, we don't take care of them in that way. We don't handle the situation that way. There's this person every time I go to take care of some things, I go to the store, take care of some business or whatever, and it's a security guard. And I'm the most non-threatening person that goes to that store. I can say so myself because I focus on me. I'm not worried or concerned about anyone else. And it'll be like that for us. You'll be concerned about yourself focused on yourself and the whole time they're afraid. And that's why they're watching because they are afraid. They expect something to go wrong or something to happen to them, but it's because they have a guilty conscience and they feel the presence of God on you. They have a guilty conscience. They feel the presence of God on you, moving through you, in you, and as you, and they're guilty. And they watch you because they think that you're going to 
They think that you're going to do something or they think you're going to try to harm them in some way, but that's because they have a guilty conscience. They're the ones that are thinking that. You're not thinking about harming anyone. You're not thinking about hurting anyone unless they get on your nerves and then you got to sort through your thoughts and then ask God for forgiveness, God. Don't, don't help me not think that way. Help me not act on those actions. But when you put a, amount of, a certain amount of pressure on a person, it's only a matter of time before those, start, those thoughts start to come to the surface. You have a light side and you have a dark side. And when all you want is peace and when all people want to do is invade your privacy and invade your space and try to make you feel uncomfortable when you're just trying to live your everyday life, those thoughts are going to come. Those thoughts are going to come to you. But you, we know better because we we don't want to get ourselves in any trouble, number one. And number two, we just let God handle that. God's going to treat them how they treated us. So all we have to continue to do is focus on ourselves and maintain our peace. That's it. It's a, it's a, it's a, a walking test for us to, to with, with uh, walking in faith to just maintain our peace and to maintain our just just to maintain our peace and just to maintain our sound mindedness while dealing with this kind of behavior from other people but the guy at the grocery store he's like seeking attention and he's got his little issues with him but the the fact the matter of the fact is I'm the least person that you have to worry about. You're worried about me and meanwhile somebody is stealing. You're worried about me and meanwhile somebody is, you know, God forbid, might be doing the unthinkable. Somebody might be trying to harm somebody in some kind of way. But they're focused on you out of the wrong intent and out of the wrong intentions. And they're wasting their time. Because in all reality, they have nothing to worry about with us. If anything, we have something to worry about with them. We should be the ones watching them. But that's what they want. They want you to put the same amount of energy into them that they're putting into you. They want you to retaliate. They want you to follow them back. They want you to watch them back. They want you to care about them back. But you don't. They care about you to the point to where they're spying on you and monitoring you and watching you heavily trying to figure out every single thing about you. This person, every time I leave the store, he's parked where I'm going to go back to where I have to go in the same direction so he could see me and look directly at me. And he's just a security guard, but it's a spiritual thing. It's deeper than him just being a security guard. He's he, like, they monitor you for the kingdom of darkness and the spirit that's on them reports back to that kingdom that they work for whether they know it or not but with those kinds of actions we know who they work for and all we're doing is taking care of what we need to do we're not harming anyone not hurting anyone not bothering anyone like them if anything they should be watching to make sure that we're unbothered or that we're left alone but no they rather be an irritant they rather be a demonic type of individual with a, a terrible spirit, but that's okay because we, over time, by the grace of God, learned how to not care about these kinds of individuals and to just go about our day. You may want to give them a hand gesture. You may want to tell them off. You may want to approach them, and that's really what they want. See, here's the thing. Don't even get in the energy of giving them a hand gesture. Just continue to act like they're not even there because, yo, they want to keep like the, it's it's such a deep level of hatred. It's like somebody it's like a, cr a crooked cop with a gun that's just stalking and harassing someone waiting for them to walk up so he could just bow and blow them away. They want to try to blow you away in a different way. They want you to lash out. All right. They want to continue to watch you to the point to where you approach them and get into some type of crazy standoff, some type of crazy argument so they can 
make a call, call the authorities and get you hemmed up in whatever type of situation that unfortunately you may have caused for yourself due to their harassment. And you have to, you have to not engage in that type of behavior. If you ever feel like you're about to be overwhelmed, you got to calm yourself down and just start to start to breathe deeply and just get to a relaxed state, call on the presence and power of God in you because it almost happened to me. And it's like the, they, they do it so much. You just want to walk up to them and you want to take care of it yourself. You, I under, I understand. And I understand. It's like, you want to take care of this situation yourself. You want to grab this person by the collar of their neck and slam them on, slam their whole entire body on the ground and just take care of that situation yourself. But no, 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 no. You know better. You know better than that. It's, they're not worth your time. They're not worth your energy and they're not worth that type of time or that type of energy. And they're definitely not worth you getting tricked out your freedom. They want to trick us out our freedom. They, unfortunately, they watch us to the point to where they are hating because it's just it's straight up jealousy. All right. That's what, that's what it is when it comes to these monitoring spirits It's jealousy. All right. When you inhabit the spirit of jealousy, it changes you and it turns you into something that you wouldn't normally be. And they allow themselves to get inhabited with this jealous spirit. They allow themselves to be taken over by this jealous spirit. And it, it, it makes them lose their common sense. And it makes them have no, it, it makes them just have not a care in the world for other people. At this point, they have a zero level of empathy. Just, just don't care about what happens to other people. Don't care about how somebody else's life is going. They just want you to experience how upset and angry they are because of the level of jealousy that they currently are filled with, you know? And if you engage with that, it's not going to turn out well for you. All right. If you engage with that, it's not going to turn out well for you. They want to see something bad happen to you so bad, you know, instead of just leaving you alone and letting you live your life, they want to see something bad happen to you. That's why they're watching you to that point. It's, it's something that, that they see that they don't like that they want to not see anymore. They don't like even seeing you do the just normal things. It's like everything about you, they have a problem with everything about you, your whole entire essence, your whole entire being, whole entire style, how you dress, how you look, how you wear your hair, how you do things, how you uh, do every single thing you do, every single thing you do, they have a problem with. And I'll just be minding my business and doing what I do. And this person is always focused on me. When I leave, they even go as far as like trying to bully me with their vehicle. And it's like this, like, how? You gonna try to bully somebody with a vehicle? Yes, they will. Vehicular harassment. This man pull. I, I, it's only so much curb. Either I'm either I'm gonna walk out in the street and get hit by a car, God forbid, or I'm gonna walk on a sidewalk where it's safe. But I have to move around this man's car because he feels the need to try to bully me with his vehicle because he's a hater. At the end of the day, he's jealous for whatever reason. He feels some type of way about me towards him. And he can't handle that. And that's his way of regulating. He's not a man. He's a little boy in a truck. You know, he's got his little, he's a little boy in a truck playing with a toy. All right. And he just, he doesn't have no common sense at the end of the day. And I'm not going to allow myself to get tricked out of my freedom for a loser. I'm not going to allow myself to get tricked out of my freedom for a loser. This young gentleman who's supposed to be enjoying his, his life and enjoying his time and his youth and his day, but instead he rather on a nice sunny day where he's got a nice easy job where he could sit down and relax and chill out as a security guard, he rather harass people. Sooner or later, God's going to end up taking that job from him. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Sooner or later, he's going to find himself in an unemployment line because he was abusing his power and God doesn't like ugly. That's just how these things work. You have you abused the situation that you've been blessed with. You're not going to have that situation anymore. They don't un, they, they don't take the time to appreciate the small things in life, which makes them susceptible to being a hater. 
Because if, if you cannot hate on anybody if you take the time in your life to appreciate the small things. And it's, it's just unfortunately a characteristic trait of these kinds of people. They would be transformed by the renewing of their mind if they were able to look at their life and say, you know what, I'm grateful for this. You know what, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. But they don't take the time to do that. They think those types of things are a waste of time. They think those types of things are foolish. And that's why they don't grow. That's why they don't elevate. That's why they don't move forward uh, spiritually or mentally. And that's why they stay stuck in haterism. They stay stuck in hateration. They stay, stay stuck in hater mode. And it causes them to just do these outlandish things. And we end up being the ones who get looked down upon and frowned upon if we were to actually, in God's eyes, handle this in a, a just, righteous way. But the world is turned upside down and we have to let God handle these things. Because if we go handle these things, it's not going to turn out well. All right, If we lose our cool with these types of situations, it's not going to turn out well. Somebody just sitting there and and you pull them out the car and beat the death out of them, that's what it's going to appear. That's what it's going to look like. So it's, it's not good to get into these kinds of situations be, just because somebody is provoking you. you. We have to be in control of ourselves and be unprovoked by the provokers. You got to be unprovoked by the provokers, all right? And it's really, it's on a spiritual level because... They're like the spirit that's inhabiting them. It sees you elevating and it sees you growing. It sees you moving forward and it, it sees you defeating them. So like when you defeat these types of situations and you handle it peacefully, you're actually waging war and destroying them spiritually. You're actually like destroying them and killing them in the spirit. But in the flesh, you just walked past this person. You just bypassed this person. You just kept your cool and handled it in a, a, a positive way. But that's why you let God fight your battles because in the spirit realm, it's on and popping. Swing, swing, swing. Swords and elbows and fists and, and knees and shoulders, knees and toes. Your angels is putting hands, feet, arms, uh, chest plate, breastplate, everything on, on, on them spiritually. Because they know not what they do. All right. Unfortunately, as hard as it is to accept at times, these people don't know what they're doing because it's it, it, the jealousy that they have is allowing negative spirits to inhabit them. And they're being overtaken by the kingdom of darkness. You, we have a legion of angels with us. They got legions of demons with them. So we have to just continue on by doing the positive things that we're doing, even though they're watching, even though they're spying, it's, it's something using them. It's something using them. And that's why it's always you. That's why it's more than one person. You'll walk past another person, then the next person will do it. You'll get past them, then another person will do it. They're hopping from person to person. They have the power to do that. They're hopping from person to person. But the thing is, you have power over them. That's the thing. They can only try to trick you out your spot. And when they can get you to not think right, when they can get you off your square, when they can get you upset and not using logic, not using a sound mind, they can get you to lose control of yourself and act out, act out of character. And that's not what you want to do. You want to continue to destroy them and defeat them in the spiritual realm. All right. And, and how you do that is by continuing to keep your peace down here physically. You continue to keep your peace. You continue to act like it's nothing because you know you're waging war and defeating them and destroying them. When you defeat a situation down here that's like testing, that's like soul testing, mind testing, spirit testing, they're testing your spirit, all right? When you defeat them down here and they're not able to control you, you're, you're winning and defeating them up there in the spirit and, and destroying them. So you have to keep that in mind. Well, you know what? I'm not going to handle that like this. I'm going to handle it with God. I'm going to handle it. Let my angels de destroy you. All right. Whatever is in you, whatever has taken over you, you know, that's between you and the most high and you're going to be destroyed. All right. You're going to be destroyed. The, the wicked shall not stand. The wicked will be destroyed. They're going to be uh, that th no one's going to remember them. 
no one's going to remember the wicked. They're going to be destroyed. So we have to keep in mind that even though we're being watched and heavily monitored and, oh, I'm just trying to do this. I'm just trying to live my life. I understand. I know you're just trying to live your life, but there are people who are jealous of the fact that you're living your life. All right. They, they see you elevating. They see you leveling up. They see you taking your life to a new height. They see you becoming what you're supposed to become. And it's because you're living in your purpose and you're doing what you're supposed to do is why they're coming after you in the first place. If you weren't, they wouldn't have anything to watch you for. I mean, they'd still be watching you, but they they would be watching you on the point of, you know, everything's going as planned kind of thing. They wouldn't be watching you as far as, oh, we have to stop this person. They would just be watching you like, okay, this person's doing everything that they're supposed to be doing. So that way they could continue to destroy themselves, continue to not do what's right. But when you're doing what's right and they are watching you, they're keeping tabs on you to see how they could try to make you backslide, how they could try to make you stop, how they could try to ruin your life. That's why for some of us, it seems like as far as we get, it's like something that just keeps getting in the way something that keeps trying to stop us, something that keeps trying to block your blessing, things like that. And that's why you you pray against those things. That's why if, if you're in a situation to where you feel you're being stopped, you're being held back, it feels like it's something that's stopping you from getting ahead. You just get so close, but then boom, it's like, yo, back to square one or whatever. You have to pray against that. It's actually something in the way that a monitoring spirit or familiar spirit that is trying to make sure that you don't get to where you need to go. Could be from your bloodline, could be from somebody else's bloodline. All right, it could it could be like a a a, a, a just a, a negative person that just doesn't want to see you make it. That is allowing themselves to be inhabited by these cop these kinds of spirits. So as long as you continue to as long as you continue to do what you're supposed to do, you're not going to have anything to worry about but they will try to knock you off your path. They will try to make sure that you aren't able to focus, aren't able to get what you need to get done. They'll try to cause problems for you. All right? it, it, it could be someone from your bloodline. It could just be another uh, spirit from the kingdom of darkness on assignment. All right, you never know. So you have to pray against all that stuff. And when you do that, it's going to allow you to have those breakthroughs. It's going to allow you to get ahead. It's going to allow you to continue to have success. And that's what you want. They want to try to stop your success, keep you stagnant, and keep you in the same place. And as someone that wants to elevate, get out of certain situations, get out of poverty, get out of um, negative situations, get out of uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, generational curses and things like that. Yo, the, and the, that's the thing. The monitoring spirits want to keep you trapped in the generational curses. They, they want those generational curses on you to continue that. But when you, when you are working on yourself and doing what you're supposed to do and on your purpose, you're breaking those generational curses. And that's why these spirits are so heavily on you. And that's why you have to battle the spiritual warfare because you're breaking the generational curses. And the kingdom of darkness sees that because you're walking in the light and you're destroying them. You're fighting them. You're waging war against them. And unfortunately, they're not just going to sit down and take it. But fortunately for us, neither are we. And we have a greater power on our side that that is more powerful than them and stronger than them. And we're going to come out on top. So no matter how much they watch, no matter how much they monitor, no matter how much they spy, no matter how much they try to keep tabs on you, try to figure things out about you so they could use it against you, wage warfare on you and try to attack your mind with these things, you're still going to rise above it all. You're still going to defeat them spiritually and physically. And remember, when you when you defeat them physically, when you bypass their little weird ways and they're like, yo, why are these people are operating like that? Why, why are they acting like that? Yo, they got a spirit on them. And it's it, it, the reason why they're operating like that is because that spirit's trying to control that physical body the best way it can. <laughs> that spirit is trying to control that physical body the best way it can. And that's why it even comes off as awkward. It comes off as weird. It comes off as things that you just don't understand. 
and they try to put that amount of pressure on you in your mind because you're a child of the light, you'll never understand how wicked, just how wicked they could be. You'll never understand the real reason in full of why they're doing what they're doing. You'll be able to get little facets and little pieces of information, but it's, it's no depth to the amount of trouble that they're trying to cause for you because you're breaking these curses and you're the one that was chosen to save the day. All right, you're the one that was chosen for the mission and keep fighting, keep, uh, keep working on yourself, keep moving forward, keep doing what you have to do because that's why they're coming after you in the first place. And when you just continue to do what you have to do and stay focused, there's battles being fought and won for you. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. It's your main man, Drew Two. We out.